Aquarius, hi, welcome to your read. These are YouTube general readings. They won't always resonate with you, but if you like a reading that does resonate with you, excuse me, if you do like a reading that resonates with you, feel free to reach out to me. My email's in the description below. Um, just send me your time zone and name, and I'll send you all the details that you need for your personal private reading with me and Bob's, right? Well, because I do my reads in the morning, and he's sleeping in the morning. He doesn't want to go to school in the morning, right? You don't want to go to school, right, Bobby? Aquarius doesn't want to go to school either, apparently. Right? Is that why you're here? Aquarius doesn't want to go to school? <laughs> Just kidding. That might be a message for some of you, though. Maybe some of you are trying to go into school, but you don't want to go back. Could be there. King of Cups. Crossed by the Empress. Oh, my Divine Masculines. If you're watching this and you're a Divine Masculine... You've probably just been shot down by somebody, but never fear. The universe is here with the Six of Wands for you. Let's see what this is about. Um, just in general here, though, King of Cups. I like King of Cups in the middle of the read. It's showing me that there's an illusion here, not a bad illusion. It's a good illusion that you're kind of making up because this is an internal thing, not an external thing. I'm doing all these reads from the internal perspective. The internal perspective of King of Cups is that there's an illusion, something you want to kind of maybe manifest into this reality, something deep, emotional. What's being challenged, though, is the Empress. It's like, what do you need to do to bring this in? That's too many things. I'm getting too many messages with that Empress for some of you. And it's just too many to, to kind of say just try to go in one direction with one of those. But for some of you, it's like how you bring in this healing into your life to proceed forward with these manifestations. Some of you do need healing with that Empress being challenged. Um... While you're here at the Reeds, Knight of Cups, uh, some of you may be having trouble proceeding forward with relationships. And um, it could be because of a father opposing things as well, too. Eight of Cups. In the past, somebody walked away from you here emotionally. Um, the thing is with this, like... This is such an Aquarius read. Jeez. Somebody here probably walked away from you here, but um, you think maybe they they walked away from it because it required a lot of emotions and maybe they weren't ready for that. I don't even think they had their emotions invested into this. And you know that. You thinking that they had emotions invested into whatever this was is just ego, okay? King of Swords here is your strength. Yeah, like it, it, it's showing up to the kingdom for something stable where it's not. And King of Swords has his sword here at his side with the Ace of Swords. It's showing up as something that shows up like marriage. It shows up as something very good, very stable. Or it's not. It's walking away. And of course, you're one of the signs that are going through the Saudi Saudi, you know. I'm not going to say that, but, um, you know, there could be pains and things like that attached to whatever this is. <sighs> there could be a lot of pain attached to that, and it's realizing that things that are severed aren't, aren't going to last to you here. What's being hidden from you is Eight of Wands.
you're probably wondering why all the communication was cut off with this thing and I, I don't even think it, it's being hidden for a reason because it's kind of like you don't even need to communicate with whatever this was in the past and there's no people here in this card this is just this is the only well in this tarot deck specifically that the suits don't have people in them but in regular tarot generally this would be the only card without people in it and uh death card here is your advice that's accepting death accepting the changes accepting those difficult times um on, I feel like I keep getting called back to this is why I like the basic tarot deck it makes more sense to me but death rolls in as this knight of cups but it's the skeleton version of him and it's ending the bad reign of the king and there is king of swords here who is that king and it's ending that reign of terror you know and I think this is ending that fear for you ending the fear of I don't know, like having to be connected to somebody or having deadlines on having some sort of relationship here. It's ending those fears for you and realizing, oh yeah, I had it all along in me. You know? But the moon card in your hopes and fears is now, you know, you may think that everyone that comes along is going to bring some sort of pain. And it's it doesn't work that way. When you start thinking that way, you kind of like, bring that energy to the surface and that kind of detracts people away from you they don't want to feel that way they want good positive feelings here that causes conflicts for you so you know there's definitely a whole lot of healing that you gotta accept so i did say the empress was giving me the vibes of healing at the beginning of the read for some reason here and it's realizing that you attract things to your your space but it you're not attracting things that hurt you on purpose yeah, sometimes things fall apart and they don't work. And that's just the way it's got to go, baby. And you got to bring in the nice, good things. And yeah, they are going to bring you in something spiritual. Something spiritual will come your way, relationship-wise. Something that's going to last you a long time. And I hear taking a trip by a lake for some reason. We're going to take a trip by the lake. But that might be a good thing for you, just for some sort of healing, some time alone. Or maybe with a new person here. Let's see what the universal advice is for the Aquarius. Camera's that way, buddy. You don't want to come out on YouTube? Are you sleepy? I'm sleepy too. We only got Pisces left after this. High Priestess, Nine of Wands, and the Lovers. Yeah, something very soul connected is coming your way with the high priest and the lovers and the nine of wands but nine of wands to me shows up some sort of barriers and the high priest is here showing me your intuition is telling you yeah love will come your way and it may not be in the form of this past thing that walked away from you it'll come in the form of when you get in the space and realize not everything's trying to hurt you not everything's trying to kind of like disrupt your internal world and um there's definitely love here cupid's arrow is definitely going to strike for the aquarius and um yeah that's all i got i think if anything you take anything from the read this week is uh try not to create those conflict scenarios in your head before they happen um realize new people coming your way this time in Saudi Saudi, it might actually last you a long time because, you know, Saudi Saudi will kind of be like Saturn's return where it's going to give you responsibility, but it's going to give you responsibility to stand on your own two feet, you know. Um, but that's all I got for you, Aquarius. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys again next week. Take it easy. Bye.